What are you looking at? I wasn't looking at anything, Mr. Stafford. Yes, you were spying on me. Oh, no, Mr. Stafford. I wasn't spying on you. Yeah. Yeah, well, look out the window. The view's out there. Suddenly in the mirror. I don't suppose I can trust you either. Of course you can. This sealed package contains something of great value. Yet to me, not to you, no one else, only me. You take it and hide it. Give it to no one. No one, you understand? When we arrive at our destination, I want that returned to me with the seal unbroken. What are you doing, spying again? I, uh, I was just going to answer the door. I told you not to move from that spot. I got a note for you. Slide it under the door. I didn't understand what you said. Oh, uh, the porter. Hey, my eyes don't deceive me. You're the financial giant. The monarch of mammon. A name known the length and breadth of the land, Mr. Simeon Stafford. Mr. Stafford. Wally. Marina. A family group. Get out, you two. You followed me. I did not. Hey, wait a minute. That's no way to forget a dame. The voice of experience talking, but he won't listen to me. I know what your code of ethics is, but no gentleman would have given that story to the papers without consulting me. I thought it was quite gallant of me. You don't know what the word means. If you did, you wouldn't be pursuing me like a lovesick freshman. I've already told you that I had no idea you were on this train. Oh, there's something mysterious about that note, huh? Hmm? Don't you think you ought to reciprocate for my bringing it down to you by giving me a little story for the paper? Get out! Listen, Toots, bigger guys than you have been polite to me. And don't go coming up there like an old meanie. <laughs> Come on, what's that all about? Now, be honest, Marina. If I'd had money enough for you, this would have been our honeymoon. I hate to destroy any of your boyish illusions, but a million dollars will buy everything I want. Exactly. Have a good honeymoon, darling. I intend to. Your glasses, sir. Yeah. Oh. On a close behind me. And don't walk on my heels, idiot. Leave it, seven. you think, Mr. Stafford? Yeah, same. George, hurry that waiter with the order. Yes, sir. Why, hello, Mr. Stafford. Yeah, uh, well, Who are you? Police Captain Timothy Harrigan, New York. Uh, incognito. Ah. Uh, 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 sit down, Harrigan. I want to talk to you. Uh, uh, Jenkins? Go back to the drawing room. But I... I haven't had my dinner, Mr. Stafford. Uh, but you're not hungry, are you, Jenkins? No, sir. Uh, yeah, think... Does he have to go around with that thing chained to him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I don't trust him. No? Harrigan, there are criminals aboard this train, and they're watching me. Oh, yeah? Yes, I, I want you to be my bodyguard between here and Palm Beach. Mr. Stafford! Why didn't you answer my knock? Why, I... Never mind. Where's Mr. Stafford? I haven't seen him. I left him in the dining car with you. Didn't he come back in here? No. Has something happened? Is something wrong? Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Where's the niece's room? Right next door. Who's there? 
discovered in there? No, thank heaven. Case of jewels around. Jewels? What jewels? Never mind. How about Harrigan? What's all this about? Oh, my head. See if he's badly hurt. Oh, my head. What happened? I. I was sitting. I must have dozed off. I don't remember. I don't. See if the doctor on the train. I'll go. Get the conductor, you. All right, if he talks, take that every word he says. You understand? Come on now. None of your acting. Where's Mr. Stafford? What? Come on, come on. Come in. What happened? You Mr. Oh. Stafford's niece? Yes. Mr. Stafford's missing. This man's been slugged. What do you know about it? Well, he's missing. How can he be missing? That's what I'm asking you. Were you in that room all the time? Yes. And you heard nothing in here? Nothing. What happened to my uncle? What do you care? You're not very fond of him, are you? Who told you I'm not? What do you know about this? Well, uh, there was a briefcase. Oh, the briefcase. You know about it. What was in it? I don't know. Jenkins, what is in that case? Some valuable papers, Mr. Stafford said. Maybe the package he gave you. Package he gave you? Oh, uh, nothing. What package he gave you? Give me that package. No. He made me promise to hold it till we got to Miami. He disappeared. Then find him. Come in. There's no doctor on this train. He's all right. He doesn't need a doctor. We're going to search this train. Please, gentlemen, make as little fuss as possible. This must not get out. There's hundreds of people on board. Come on, let's go. But you're not going to leave me alone. We'll put a guard in front of your door. Anything wrong? Hey, you. Remember. Can't leave here, sir. I got orders. Yeah? I'm giving you orders. Come here. Yes, sir. Stuff with all newspapers. I was afraid of that. Where is it? I don't know. Well, you'd better know. You ask us in on this. We're not taking this ride for our health. You're trying to get away with this yourself? Then why would I call you in on it? I couldn't do it myself. I'd be afraid to. Where's the ice? He brought him a train, didn't he? He said he did. He said he did. He did. He did. I know he did. Wait a minute. He gave her a package. That's all you got to say. I can't be bothered with you. Don't leave me alone, Mr. Harrigan, please. What do you want me to do? Hold your hand? Oh, I, I'm afraid. You've got to protect me. Look what happened to Mr. Stafford. Hang on. Now, this door's locked on both sides. And this one is, too. This one you can lock on the inside yourself. Now relax, will you? Mr. Armstrong's in the dining car. He wants you to join him there. Fine time to eat. Got a key that locks this on the outside? Yes, sir. Got a hunch this guy knows more than he says. Maybe when I come back, he'll talk. Now, how about Jenkins? Yeah, we gotta get rid of him. He'll talk. I figured all along we wouldn't need Jenkins after Washington. Yeah, but we can't do anything about it now. Harrigan's got them all sealed up in there. Why don't you let me worry about that? Washington, Washington. 